Hello ladies, Crafty Kim 62 here and as promised here is my technique for making normal card whatever colour, whatever thickness into metal. So this is the finished result. Here's a couple of little ones. And this is one of the larger pieces. And you can see that it really does look like metal. Ideal for your steampunk creations. The first thing I use is my famous tester pots. And this one is called Novo Black, I think. A super, super Nova. So this is just a plain black emulsion. My one pound tester pots. And it doesn't matter what make they are. Um, but it is handy if it's the mousse type of gilding wax. So this one is a Pebio. And this one's called just silver gilding wax, just a plain old silver. This one is white fire and it's by a company called Treasure Gold. And as you can see, this one I use an awful lot, but it goes an awful long way too. And that one is the gold. So the first thing to do is the... The first coat is of the black emulsion, so I'm just using ordinary paintbrush and I'm just going to cover it all in black. Seems strange colour to start off with when you're trying to emulate metal, but believe me this does work. And for the ladies on my group, who will be my partner in the June draws for the Steampunk month um, will be able to see this in action. So just take the excess off, put the lid back on because no doubt I will. And then I'm just going to wash my brush. And I'm just going to move this away for a moment. I've got some other little elements, so I'm not going to be bothered about my mat just yet. But while I'm doing a few, I might as well get a couple done at the same time. So again, just go in with the black. You don't have to be neat, just as long as it's covered. Oops, I hope, I'm, hope you can see there. This is a lock, so with the lock you need to have a key. And these um, paper steampunky um, keys and locks were done by my number two, my very good friend Rebecca Young on my Facebook, my Facebook group. It's early in the morning. It's five o'clock in the morning here in England. And it's a Monday. So you're usually not awake properly on a Monday, even though I've been up several hours already. And the group is Simply Craft and Swap. It is a closed group, but if you would like to send a message for the details to be added to the group, then please do message me on YouTube and that will be fine and we'll 
see what happens there. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to get my pokey tool and just lift these up and move them over. Onto the clean bit. I do love steampunk, you can get as messy as you like. And if you don't like getting messy, well there's always wet wipes. That's the last one. I'm just going to try something. If I've got a piece of card. I've got a piece of card. I'll just try this white one. Because can you see I've got a lot of impressions there. So I'm just going to see what this, what happens with this. Oh yes. So can you see it's picked up the images? So I'll be able to make a background of that. So I'll just keep that and put that to dry. But in the meantime I'm just going to clean up because I don't want any of the black on the next. I want to try and keep hands as clean as possible. I'm just going to clean my craft mat a little bit. And as you can see, you do get messy. Which is all good fun when you're a crafter. So I'm just going to dry this off. Turn it over and then we'll start again. So I'm just going to give everything a quick blast dries. With the motion it dries really quick. Please excuse that this is an old heat still. So it is a bit noisy but it's well loved. So just dry those off. That's all the other little elements. So that's the black first. I'll just line them up. And then you go in with the silver. So you put the tiniest bit on your mat, just the tiniest bit. I've spread that out. And then you just go in and wipe it over all of your cogs and the shapes and it's really clever how she's done this on her silhouette Rebecca and she's joined all the cogs together and the wheels and things so you don't have to be precise you just have to get it on and if you've got too much on don't worry because the effect is the same all over so I'll just get those spindly bits and I think I'm happy with that. So 
so there you can see the next colour of silver. So I'll just quickly do some more of these ones. As I say, a tiny bit goes an awful long way. And you'll be surprised how much you still have on your finger when you come to the end. And if you do it this way, do a batch, then obviously you don't waste your gilding wax. So this is another key, filigree key, very pretty, and a more traditional key. We've got another um, steampunky gothic month coming up in October, obviously to celebrate Halloween. So that's going to be quite interesting for the things that we've got planned. In the group we normally plan at least three months ahead. So I've just finished making all of the July and we're in the month of June now and um, we've started, we've got all of the concepts that we want for July, August, September, October and December um, but obviously we're working on July, mine's complete and videos will be coming on those and the August is starting to be done this week I plan to start this week I'm off work at the moment so when I'm able and fit I do get crafting done because it does help as everybody knows if you're not well crafting is very relaxing and keeps you going so lid back on you don't need to let it dry I wanted to take the colour off so there's no contamination and then now I don't put this one is more of a solid mousse so I'll not put this one down on the mat so I'll start again with the the big one and then again I just go over all of the pieces just rubbing lightly picking up more and then working all the way through You could try this with a green so you would get more of a verdigris, so a brass colour with the green aged effect. So can you see how you've got all of the different tones? So I'll just put that to one side while I do the other pieces very quickly. Put your fingers through different directions because obviously the the paper in some places are is raised. So I will just work round. I hope my fingers are not in the way, trying to keep them camera friendly. Whoops. So just work your way around all of the cogs into all the nooks and crannies of filigree so get it all into all the bits so this is the, the lock for the key and I've just learned I've, I, um, I watch American reality programs and various things and I do like um, wa watching say yes to the dress and I asked my American buddies um, because I've noticed there's been a change in corsages and it's where the men on their corsage has a key somewhere amongst it whether it's dangling or mixed in with the flowers and I asked the question why and apparently um, it's where the lady has the lock and the gentleman has the key so he can lock, unlock her on the wedding day so I thought that was quite sweet. Let's see, you learn everything. Something new that you didn't know about different places around the world. 
So I'm just showing all the individual bits and you can see how it's looking metal already. But now that they are dry, and you'll all know that once you've got waxing, uh, gilding wax, to bring it to its full potential, you give it a little bit of a buff. So just a piece of clean. You don't want to remember this is card. You don't want to go too heavy, too gung ho at it. You just want to buff it up. So I'll just buff up all of these and I can put these into my stash of gifts to give away or projects to use. And you can see all of the darkness is coming off and that is what we need to make it shine. So quite pleased with the locks, the locks are coming quite nice. It's gonna be delicate with this one. Just a couple more to do. Oh, that one's pinged away. One last key. And there you have it. This is my take on creating metal from paper. Whether you can see it better that way, rather than it being in the air. Oh, you can see the shine. I hope you can see that. But every piece is the same. There's that filigree key. Now you don't have to worry about getting your fingers dirty, because inevitably they do. And there's this lock. See how beautiful that is. Very lightweight, so when you send things through the post, it will be cheap on the postage. Bye bye for now. It's Crafty Kim 62 from Simply Craft and Swap signing off. Bye bye, ladies and gentlemen.